snapped up, yeah. No set. As we've seen, counter picks like Nar and Mordekaiser consistently fail. Yeah, I don't know why it is the, the considered option. Remember, guys, Soraka was available. Summit could have theoretically picked. They would have been lacking in a lot of damage, which is why, likely, they did not go towards it. So this is another one of those times where Soraka is allowed all the way through. Sort of showing that uh, a lot of our players don't necessarily like it. We saw Fly be very uncomfortable on the Soraka earlier yeah, on. So yeah. we've shown that you do need a certain level of mastery to be able to make it look as busted as we think that it is. Um, however, unfortunate that uh, a champion that is so incredibly powerful Today's meta is failing to be utilized. At this point in the game, nothing really going to be too chaotic as both parties are just taking very defensive opening stances. Now, Zoe against Soren is a bit interesting. You can see Showmaker with the Ignite as well as the Airy, so he's probably just going to be looking for blood against Dove. Yeah, this is a very aggressive start. On fleek. Gonna be starting solo red. Uh, it's gonna be the Predator Trundle. You, uh, certainly, your ganks work out a whole lot better, but Conqueror is very, very strong for dueling. He's not gonna be going for any of those against Daniel by the looks of things. As he bites down on the red buff. Showmaker in position, well and truly ahead of his minions, understanding the power that he has in the early stages of the lane. Summit using Noggery's counter pick against him. The counter pick of Noggery's that he lost 0 2 on. Well, it was all a bait for this one moment. Looking at total rooms right now. Set up there with the overgrowth and the second win. Trundle, or Jarvan with the, the bone plating in the overgrowth. As Zoe has the Scorch, has it in the cloak as well. But we do at least have Nuclear. With the uh, gathering storm. Yeah. That's all right. Point. Just dancing around this bottom lane, collecting as many of these concussive blows as he can. Showmaker, I believe, will just try and keep this wave as pushed in as possible for as long as he possibly can. Canyon right now looking to counter jungle a bit of On Fleek as Trundle is going to make his way up to top lane soon. Oh, no, actually not. Does clear out some vision, though, as yeah. you can see. But that looks like it's going to be coming up relatively soon. Invade looks like a bit of a trade here between Canyon and On Fleek. Yeah. Unless Canyon can actually get in here and deny the seal. And yeah, inside track. This is not something that On Fleek should be able to do, but he does interrupt Showmaker. As he flashes on over, Trouble Bubble. Oh, On Fleek flashes over the top. And Showmaker going so aggressively and yeah. just investing his real flash to lock that one down. No, he's able to pick up a, a, a fake flash via his W, but still ended up missing some CS in order to do that. And it just seems like a very bizarre play because now when Dub has level 6 as well as Ignite, this is a very easy kill setup in mid. And honestly, Zoe, every single time that we see her, she just has different hair. <laughs> Yeah, slightly different uh, skin choice than what we've been seeing. Same for Nuclear. Haven't seen him on that one before, stopping the Prestige Kaiser. You see Nuclear picking up. This Canyon is going to go on over and inspect his uh, enemy's jungle. He's going to spot on Fleek during his front camp. Yep. All of that knowledge is going to be available. Do you know what they say about knowledge? Uh... You need more? It's power. Oh, I thought you were about to make like a Hilo Friends reference. Whoa. Remember that on YouTube? No. You never saw the knowledge guy? No, I didn't. Alright, well. Careful. Who's the knowledge guy? He would be in his garage and always just talk about knowledge, like books. <laughs> Alright. And then tell you about his Lamborghini. Oh, that's cool. Other stuff, yeah. I mean, it is. Is it a bit of a meme? Oh, hey, well, it was a huge meme. He oh, okay. figured out some way to get all the ad space on YouTube. Or it's something. So everyone, everyone just knew. Yeah. It's kind of cool. Canyon also going to do something kind of cool. Just smack around Summit just a little bit. No, I agree. Given a fair bit of space up here. Five CS behind. In this range versus melee matchup. Not too bad for the set, of course. And uh, Summit goes back, buys himself a new He's going to be all fine. 
bottom lane is extremely even. He's trading one way and the other, and to be honest, everywhere is locked up neck and neck. And but who does that benefit? Actually, does this just straight up benefit Sandbox because it's fallen? And the fact that he offers well, so much wealth to his team? Yeah, so uh, at this stage of the game, with everyone just going super even, I would wager that Sandbox is the one that have the advantage. Now, the thing is, is that the NAR doesn't really serve a purpose. It's so off-speed with all the other champions on in Sandbox's team composition, and so it's so weird. And then also, even in a vacuum here, we can see Set not really behind. Nope. against the NAR, and then the way that NAR ends up itemizing and building in the later stages just gives Set a target, so... It's not like Dom1 can't win this game, but it is gonna be rough in the way later stages. Pearl Dragon, first one of the game. Showmaker, I think he's gonna go for a bubble here and lands it. Yep, he's gonna have the Super Soaker available as well as Showmaker. Pesky minion wave is gonna be there in the way. Side so to shoot Dove with his, uh... W Super Circle. Some of manager stops that Haymaker. And that hides pretty well. His face breaking oh, does come oh. in. Avoids the wallop and gets the knock out of the knock. That was really close. You can tell that he really wanted the super flex. Yeah. As, I'm not going to trade off yeah. and actually really respect that from Noggery. He's now going to have it for the follow up of the gank. And uh, Canyon, certainly on the job, and is someone who can really force games pretty well, even if it is against the, uh, against the NAR. And uh, here we are, Infernal Drake going down. Canyon should be able to grab this one by himself, you can see on the plate. Nowhere near. Gonna be moving up, checking out his Raptor Camp that is not there. <laughs> And the teleport was used by Hoyt to get himself to this Infernal Drake. Back coming in now for Nuclear, he's got his teleport also, and they are extremely even still on the bottom side. Yeah. Catalyst complete for Zoe in mid. Gar and Set just really going blow for blow up there in top lane. And remember, don't, don't, we, we called Dom Juan earlier, don't want to go. Yeah. Because... They had those games that nothing happened at all in the early stages, and it was probably one of our uh, more difficult uh, days here at the LCK with Dom1 versus Griffin. Um, what would uh, Sambo, what would SB be? Uh, uh, the Stay Back. Stay back. Or, oh, hold on. As, uh, they do want to go now. Hold on, has been blown. As Canyon oh. has the flash, does manage to do so. As Hoyt's making his way in. On fleet, has thrown down the subjugate. As True Shot Barrage actually gets rid of Nuggery's shield. Thankfully, the Haymaker was used then. Otherwise, that could have been a massive turnaround towards the top side. He's going to survive. No first ones just yet. Nuggery doing completely fine in this matchup, though. Summit. Doing actually pretty good. I, I, this is the first time yeah. that we've seen NAR have a CS advantage. <sighs> pretty decent one as well, as you yeah. can see. And that's where really all the gold lead is coming in right now. Well. It's good news to Sandbox fans, because I think a lot of people were waiting for Summit to show up this year. He honestly had it. That's really depressing performances where you have good early games and then seem tilted as the game progress. Of course, still early days. Is that a face breaker? Nogri actually getting a decent trade there. Haymaker going to be available. So, of course, wasn't actually in any threat of dying. Now going to go back looking for a phage, I would assume. But he's behind by 18 CS. Yeah, and you can see Summit just instantly shoving in the wave, not actually letting the wave pile up. His jungler is at the Rift Herald right now, and I guess he's doing this because he wants to be the one to recall. Total gold. Obviously looking pretty okay right now for Sandbox. Uh-huh. Uh, he's going to be building Black Cleaver. Um, I was expecting something like that. We'll see where he goes next. I really hope it isn't Frozen Mallet. I want to get one of these Nars that's going to be built uh, in order to counter Set to pick up, you know, Blade of the Wrong King, something that's actually going to lane against Set. 
Yeah, Dobbs is getting more HP as Mage and Ruby Crystal are picked up by Nar. And unfortunately for Nagari, he is building the Kindle Gun. Now, this is a pretty interesting spot because there is four very tanky champions, and there's also a chance that Ezreal ends up going Iceborne Gauntlet. And so, this is one of those spots where sometimes I'll talk about it in regards to is it justifiable to go Black Cleaver here because you have so much physical damage coming in from your teammates? And even in this one, I still feel like the answer is no. Just because Shannon's tank Jarvis. Whoa! Alright, well, in comes Hoyt. They're looking for Summit, the quickness, grand entrance. Fair bit of damage there, but it's only Hoyt. He gets knocked into the wall, the wall avoided as well. Another pace breaker. And there's first blood going to Noggery. The Haymaker was enough, as now Onfleet gets jumped on. Subjugate is down onto the Jarvan. The Gorilla there, not in time to save his top laner, but there to save his jungler. A really nice turnaround up there for Dom1. It's really helping them as well with the pacing. As Ripkill never ended up getting actually picked up. And... No, not going to be taken. It's actually yeah. just going to be the lane swap. Coming in for both teams. Dom1, they have an Infernal Dragon, and Ocean's spawning in 50 seconds, so the lane swap is a little bit peculiar. Typically, you would want your bot lane in closest proximity to the major neutral at this stage of the game, as Ezreal almost has the Monomune picked up for himself. Looks like Trinity Force is going to come in for Leo, though. Ruby Crystal is certainly uh, giving away the game. Honestly, diving on in, but honestly this jungle hasn't really got much done other than farm. Up by about a camp and a half right now. Over Canyon. Now we've got a bit of fighting up towards the top side. Killer Instinct available for Nuclear. He's got his mana piece done. See what he builds into next. Likely to be the Rage Blade. Yeah. And still, of course, go towards some sort of AP Kaiser.